Okay, let's move on to question three. Question three says table four below shows the number of people per province working in two workplaces, namely usual workplace, right? And work from home. We know that with COVID, obviously people were working from home for the last quarter of 2020 and the first quarter of 2021. So that's quite important because if you're not reading your table, you kind of don't know what's crackers, right? So here it says, we can look at the table as we sort of go. We can see there's a missing value here. We're probably gonna have to calculate that. Other than that, we kind of can read this. There's my different provinces. We know there's nine provinces and we can go from there. Use table four above to answer the questions that follow. Okay, show how the total value of 83,5 for South Africa was calculated. Okay, now it's not a tricky one. You're literally just going to add all of these up, right? And they just want you to say, okay, I actually kind of know where it comes from, right? What you could do is you could also say, well, my total would be this amount minus that amount, and that could give me 83,5. So you can either add all of these and get to that, or say this minus that gives me this, because these two here, when I add them together, give me that amount there okay so i'm going to do the easier route because i don't want to add up all of those amounts um please always remember to start um every question on a new page right 3.1.1 i'm going to say 1199.5 minus 1116 if you put that in your calculator or if you're whiz in your head um you can do this one one ooh. okay and wonderful 83.5 fantastic Okay, so you can do that, as I said, or you can add up all of these guys in this column. Okay, let's move on. Give one reason why the value in the table will differ from the actual workplace values. Okay, so so let's just see what it says. One reason why the value is in the table. Well, there's, there's two reasons. Firstly, it's in 10,000, right? And so here is basically this, um, for example, this 2,9 is actually 2,9 times by 10,000. Now, what happens to all the other decimals, right? They've just fallen away because they've just rounded off here to one decimal, okay? So there's, what I would say here is I would just say rounding error, right? There could be rounding issues, right? And and whenever um, they talk about values differing and that sort of thing, rounding issues is, is like a pretty safe bet as an answer, okay? It's basically saying because of the way they've presented this data, they've dropped a bunch of decimals, which means they've probably lost a bunch of people, okay, from the data set but it was just simpler to present it this way. 3.1.3, write down the number of people who worked at their usual workplaces, UWP, in Gauteng during the first quarter. Okay, so first quarter, Gauteng, and it wanted UWP, so it should be 365.9, right? It's not just 365,9, you have to times it by 10,000, so don't be um, too quick to write your answer and just leave it like that. Right, we have to now times it by 10,000. Remember, 10,000 has four zeros, right? So 365.9 times 10,000, okay? So 3659000. So it's actually 3 million. Now it's quite big, right? 3, 3.6 million, right? So it's quite large. So that's going to be that, and we're done, okay? So you could, I mean, you could actually write your 365.9. 10,000 if you wanted to do that, right? But you have to indicate that this is not the amount. You can't have 0.9 of a person, right? So you need to just be careful regarding that, okay? It says, give one example of a job that cannot be done by working from home. Okay, well, um, plumbing, right? Plumbing, you could have any form of cleaning. You could have doctor's work. You could have security work. There's lots of things you could write up. The one that jumped into my head was plumbing, right? Um, so that's one that you can't do from home. Some jobs you can do from home, like when you're working on a laptop, but some you can't. Then it says calculate the mean, right? When we see the word mean, what do we think, right? We think average, right? Calculate the mean number of people in the WFH. What's WFH? Work from home. Fantastic. Category for South Africa in the last quarter of 2020. Okay. So we're looking here because that's what we're looking. And they basically want us to work out this amount there. Okay, so it's not too tricky. We just need to, right, just add all of those together and then divide by the number. So this amount here, remember, is just the sum of all of these, okay? Or what you could do, remember, you could take that, <laughs> subtract that and get that amount there. So there's two ways you can get it, right? I personally am going to do the other way because I just think it's a little bit easier. 
the same way that I did um, question, what was it, question one, I'm now going to do question uh, five the same way. So I'm going to take the total, subtract the usual workplace people, and that leaves me with the work from home people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 1168.1 minus 1075, and I'm going to put that into my calculator, uh, 1075, okay, and that is 93.1. Okay, but it didn't ask me for just the sum, right? It asked me for the average. So let's just quickly make sure that there are nine um, provinces. You should know that from general knowledge, but if you don't, then I have helped you in other spaces. But let's quickly count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So now our mean is going to be this. Okay, and we're just going to pop that in our calculator. And our average is 10.34. Right, I'm not going to write all of these decimal places, right? Um, but I'm going to write a couple of them. Now you could be saying, "Oh my God, why don't you just round it off?" Right? Why don't you just round it off? Because what is this, guys? What are we representing this in again? In tens of thousands. So whatever my answer is there, right? So I'm going to put a, like a fair number of fours. I'm going to times it by ten thousand. Okay. So whatever's in there, I'm going to times it by ten thousand. Because remember, we're actually talking about people here. Okay, actual people. So it's this for four four point four four okay now that is your answer there now you should actually right you should actually write your answer like this because you can't have point four four of a human right so that is actually your average if you wrote either of those you can get the answer and the memo does accept that but to me this is the one where it's actually you showing that you understand what the question's asking because you can't get little bits of people you're either human or you're not okay so please this is a not like it wasn't a difficult question but lots of places to get things wrong okay that is us done with this question let's move on to the second part of question three